join me on a trip to Salvation Army. They're having a 50% off sale. Went on February 24th. Those are some page jeans, not my size, so I passed. These are some cut from the cloths. These are cropped. I put them in my cart, but I ended up not getting them. Those were page jeans that have that pulling in the front. That always happens. Some Hudson jeans, not the right size. Put them back. There's a lot of nothing before you find some good stuff. There is good stuff at the thrift. You just have to really dig. You have to have the patience. You have to have the, the energy, the stamina, whatever you call it to be able to find some good stuff. You find like newer brands, some older brands, some maybe some vintage. It just, you just have to have a lot of patience. I found some AG jeans. Um, these were men's, sprinkled in with the women's is what you'll usually see a lot of the times. Usually I see if the jean sizes don't have, you know, the, the 32 by 32, they'll put it with the women's. That's what I've noticed. These are some newer Tag Joe's jeans so with the stripe on the side. These are a smaller size, 25, so I didn't pick them up, but that is a newer tag. Now these, I'm just throwing stuff in my cart at this point. Um, <laughs> what I do is I just throw everything in the cart and then I look through it later. Those are some athleta pants that I thought maybe for my daughter, but I know she won't wear them because they're not black. Some cute Nickelodeon sweats. They are really pilled. Um, I didn't get them. There's me looking through those jeans and they have a hole in the crotch, so I put those back. And that's the purse that I end up leaving behind. It's a vintage, like, I think it's like 1960s. Couldn't find a brand on it. Ended up leaving it behind and then I end up going back for it the next day. And that's an Elliot Luca bag. And it's leather, but I ended up not picking it up because it had some damage to the corner that I, I don't think I can repair that. So I left it. Now this is me on Sunday coming back to the Salvation Army <laughs> to find that purse. I also went through the clothes really quick. I found this funny Halloween. And you see in the bag, I found the purse. Next stop is Ulta, found some goodies. And then next is lunch with my friend at Lalapan. It's an um, Indonesian restaurant. Now what my friend ordered, she ordered like a sampler platter almost thing and I ordered a, a noodle with chicken. It's a little spicy, but really good. After that, I went to TJ Maxx looking for the infamous Bottega dupes. Here's a cute Karl Lagerfeld dragon purse. That one's kind of bodega, bodega ish but not what I was looking for. But that is a nice shoulder bag. This is a coach bag that I've seen people have. I've seen people all over the internet with, but I don't see, I don't like it. I think it's kind of, it's not my style, um, to put it nicely. And the insides kind of reminds me of like Pote the Pochette Matisse. That one has a Saint Laurent vibe. I kind of like that one, but I'm not a big fan of the, the alligator crocodile print. That one has a woven bag. Slightly Bottega vibes, not really. That one looks like a Patricia Nash. That one looks like a Celine. That one's actually kind of cute. It's a Kate Spade raffia um, and leather detail, which I thought was cute. That one's giving Lady Dior vibes. Then there's a bunch of black bags. There's a little coach bag there. 
This one's giving that Fendi, that little Fendi bag vibes with the Fendi on the bottom of the bag. It reminded me of that. And over here's the backpacks, and there's there's some mini mouse diaper bags that I thought were really cute. And that's pretty much it for the purses. If anyone has had any luck finding those Bottega dupes recently, let me know. Some rag and bone jeans on clearance, high waist, size 32. Now, if you're not into thrifting and you want to find like expensive jeans for less, I would go here. Some Vince, a Vince skirt, like pleated. They wanted over $100 for it. And the material did not feel like over $100. It felt more like $30. I didn't think it was worth it. It was more like a satin. If it were like a silk, maybe, but not a satin skirt. Vince, come on. This one, that sweater looked like it's been run over a few times. These are some nice pants, but not my size. And then there's some other Vince pants that they want over $100 for. No, thank you. <laughs> some more jeans at a good price, clearance, some frames. I like frame jeans, they fit nicely. This is the disheveled um, case that they put all the expensive stuff in. There's like a Burberry trench that they want too much money for. Some Stuart Weitzman shoes thrown all over the place. But those are actually really pretty. They got some, there's another Stuart Weitzman low heel. Some golden gooses. Some Jimmy Choo's, they want 500 something for. And those really pretty pink Manolos. I couldn't see the price on this one. The security tag was covering it. There's a Gucci belt. A Fendi pouch, it looks like. And then the Golden Gooses were, they wanted over 300 for them. And then there's a crumbled up trench. <laughs> There's some Jason Wu sets, some vests and matching pants. Jason Wu's an expensive brand, right? I, I was looking at them. They don't feel like, they don't feel like really good quality. Hence the, I wouldn't pay the retail price for those. Just saying. That's why they're on clearance, right? They didn't feel like, they weren't thick. They were really thin. Here's some other jeans. I don't know that brand. Brands new to me. Some vibrant pink pants that I can never pull off. Those are Anne Klein's. And some more bright um, neon clothes. And this is the Seven From Mankind dress. This is like a tweed, like thick dress. I don't know. The girl who wears this, where's she going? Is she going to the club? Is she going to like a, maybe like a birthday party or something? I mean, it's tweeted to me is like business, but then you have the cutouts on the sides. And that's party to me. <laughs> These were some really nice House of Harlow pants. And these, these are giving me cruise wear. They're giving me cottage, not cottage. They're giving me coastal grandma, mom's going on a cruise vibes. Some satin black pants. Now these just remind me of like those pajamas. I can never wear those out. Some cargo pants are back. Elastic waist chains. Some Christian Lacroix. And that's an expensive brand, I think, but I can never pull off white. No white pants for me. I'll stain them, trying to trying them on. <laughs> Now I'm looking for linen pants. Linen pants and work pants, that's my goal today.
New Sam from Mankind jeans, really good deal, 56 bucks. They are white. <laughs> I mean, does that, that's a good deal for, you know, $200 jeans. If you find them for like 50 bucks, that's perfect, right? <music> DL 19, what are they, 1961s? And those are expensive. Those are like $200 jeans retail. I haven't tried any of those jeans on yet. Have you? Let me know if they're any good. I found some pants here. Those are white. I always like, I like the idea of white pants, but I can't pull those off. I can't, not that I can't pull them off, but I can't, I, I just, no, <laughs> I'll get them dirty. They did have the black versions. Well, these are different versions, same brand, Rachel So. These I ended up picking up. Some more linen pants. I like these, but I'm looking for black. I like the idea of this polka dot top, but not in white. If it were the reverse colors, it would have been nice. And I don't know about that ruffle collar. I don't know if that'll look good on me, but if it were the opposite, I would have I would have got it. And the thing is with shirts for me, I can't do deep V's. This is a nice basic button up, pretty casual. This you can totally pair with those linen pants that we saw a minute ago. And that'll be a really good fit with some white shoes, white sneakers. I found this nice top that I ended up picking up. It's a hari, a white um, sleeveless top, and it has like a nice detail at the collar. And I thought it would be a good layering piece for work. saw this sweater it's really soft it was the softest thing ever but I thought it was a little bit too casual for work so I ended up leaving it and this one has like a rib detail three-quarter sleeve button detail at the sleeve and the bottom hem I ended up leaving it just because I have so many black tops already so I didn't need another one. I felt that really nice blue top, but not my style, but I love that color. And here are the black linen pants that I ended up picking up. They're wide leg. I think it'll work for if your work environment's casual, like a more casual days, you can totally pull that off with like a nice like light color solid top. I think it'll work. Now these I really like, they were super soft, but they're cargos and I don't wanna wear cargo pants, but they're really soft. I, I kind of wanted to get them, not for work necessarily, but those are more for like every day. Now these are the Spanx imposters. Someone had bamboozled Target or TJ Maxx and stitched the Spanx 
label on there. I reattached the Spanx. Look at that. Joggers. Those aren't joggers. Those are skinny. Yeah, they reattached the sales tag. Look, the stitching's all messed up. There's peeling inside. And look, H&M. So make sure you double check. You double check your tags. Look, divided. These are more of some coastal grandma, mom's going on a cruise pants that I really like, but I don't wear. And I saw these Ad Adriana Papel pants. Now what is that for? Is that that little hook thing? Is it for like your lanyard? There's some Nike funks there. Now looking at the shoes, there's some really nice suede Sam Edelman flats with a pointy toe. Some golden geeses. I ended up trying on the Sam Edelman's because I'm always I'm always a sucker for pointy toe shoes because they always add that extra like fanciness to your outfit. But I have fat toes and they never work for me. Now these were a little big, and I know like if I would have gone a half size down, my feet would have been killing me. So I didn't even bother trying on an eight. Some pan loafers. I like loafers, but not pat. I don't like patent leather. Some Veronica Beard clogs, which I thought were actually kind of cute. Those would look good with some wide leg jeans. Found some Hermes dupes. Those are nice. I don't like the croc, that alligator print though. I'm not a fan. There's some Chanel dupes with a side of fungus inside. Put those back. Hand sanitize my hands really quick. <laughs> and then the Dan Skin ballet flats I ended up getting that they're really comfortable and they didn't slide off my feet hopefully they don't mess up the back of my heel that's like always the problem I have with shoes and this is the outfit that I kind of planning together for you know a possible work outfit now these are the first pair of pants that I found and Klein blazer and that Tahari top with the Rachel Zoe pants. And then these are the second Rachel Zoe pants with that darting in the front of it. Now I just thought these, I mean same brand, same color, right? But just that extra detail in the front makes them look more expensive to me. So I ended up going with those. And you have to make sure that they're kind of like the same shade of black. Look, these pants have pox. Got some Hello Kitty nail, glass nail file set. We'll see how that works. I got it just because it's Hello Kitty. Shopping's all done, time to go home. What I got. So we'll start with the Salvation Army stuff first. First, I got these vintage Sasson jeans. S A S S A S S O N. They're like a wider leg at the bottom. Made in Japan. Super high waist. They say they're size 10. They're vintage size 10, and you know how that is. So they're probably more like a size 2 or a 4. See if my my daughter wants to try these on or wants these and then give them to her because she likes the kids are into the baggier leg, right? This is not your daughter's jeans, Barbara Boot Cut. These are actually really good condition. They look barely more and they're super soft. Bootleg. These are cut from the cloth. Natalie High Waist Boot Cut. Mm 
This is really good condition as well. Got these good Americans. These are the good legs. I mean, they're skinny, but that's fine. I still are skinnies. These are genetic denim. I don't know why I got these. They're too big for the fiance. I don't know why I got these, but they're size 34. Later. These are like a straight leg. I'll try them on, see if they fit me. And these are some Hollister Ultra High, Ultra High Rise Mom Jean for the daughter. They're distressed and then they have stressing at the bottom as well. We got this top. It's like a Massimo Target top. It has this kind of stripe on the front and then this kind of stripe on the back. This should fit me. It's a little long like tunicky. I got this prana like lightweight cardigan. This should fit me. Always having cardigans around and this is like a longer one. It's nice and soft. This is all my haul from Saturday. Saturday was the half off day. Um, my Salvation Army does the they then Friday and Saturday, half off, um, clothes, shoes, and accessories. And this is another Christmas sweater to add to my collection. It has a little pilling, but I'll go ahead and shave it. It's cute, it's from Disney. So that was Friday. No, Saturday. Saturday's haul. And I left that vintage purse there, so I went back to go get it. First day went Saturday, and then went again on Sunday, and let me get this. Has this little latch up here. You can lift it up and that closes it. And I figured you can totally, I can technically take this off because look, it's a little, it's not horrible, but it's a little messed up. If it's from the 50s or 60s, then yeah, that's expected, but it has a little corner where I can, I can probably die. And it has. I can't tell, it has a little stamping on there. I have no idea what it says though. So I have no idea what brand it is. I can't tell. But unfortunately, I grabbed this and the sale was over, so I had to pay full price for it, which was like $25. But if I attach a gold um, chain here, I have a gold chain from Coach. I can make it into a shoulder bag or crossbody. So I think that'll work. And I also found some Sperry shoes that just need a little cleaning. And some Sperry's. The bottoms look pretty decent, barely worn. So I'm gonna clean these up because they're a little dirty. The suede is a little dirty. I'm gonna clean these up and then they should fit. And Sunday's haul, I, other than the purse, I bought some other stuff. I found a Disney shirt, Christmas shirt, holiday shirt, Mickey and Pluto on there. On this. I thought that's funny because this is, if you've seen that meme, it's Batman and Robin and Batman is, is slapping Robin. I thought this was funny. I got this for my daughter. She loves Halloween, so hopefully she likes it. It's small. It's a size small, but it's a little big, so hopefully she likes it. It's really good condition, too. Next, I went to Ulta to get some stuff. I got some mascara, some big mood mascara. This is all e.l.f. I think. I got the um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil. It has the pencil part and then it has the spoolie at the other side. That. I got the Camo Hydrating CC Cream Full Coverage Long Lasting Dewy Finish. I got the Medium 330 W. And then I got the lip oil. The Glow Reviver Lip Oil. Let's try this really quick. Very neutral color, you can't, it's not sticky. This is the color Honey Talks. There's that. So that's Ulta, that's all I bought. And I ended up spending like 30, $33. Not bad. And then the last thing is from TJ Maxx. I needed some more clothes, went there. 
I've been looking for some cute flats and I found these Danskin Mary Jane black flats. These were $20. They're comfy. Probably just need like a little insole in there, but eight and a half, they fit really well. I'm like an eight, eight and a half, depending on the shoe. A premium glass nail file set, the Creme Hello Kitty. I'll try that out. And it comes with uh, two glass files in a travel case. That was $5.99. I got these set of five Swedish di dish cloths, with or like, which are like reusable um, towels. So this should be interesting they, to be more environmentally friendly instead of using paper towels. You can use these. And you, these are machine washable. Oh, these were on clearance for $4. And I got these Lux Exfoliating Bath and Shower Mints. Comes in a set of two. So it's $4.99. And let's see how, how rough these are. They seem pretty, pretty rough. So we'll see how these look to fully in the shower. I got this Antine laser. It has a little, it's like a three-quarter sleeve almost, but on me it's like almost a full sleeve. And then it's unlined, which I like because I don't like, when it's lined I feel like it gets too hot. And it's, I live in California so it's never, it's never really cold enough to wear heavy jackets. So unlined. This one was 35. That's for work. So I don't have any blazers. I got these Rachel, the Rachel's pants. It has like a, a darty, or I don't know what you call it. It's not a pleat, it's like a detail in the front. And I thought these looked more expensive than the other ones. I got these, they're high rise slim leg. Rachel so. And these were 25. I got, I've been looking for some black linen pants and I found these, these are by Halston. H. Halston. These were 30. And these are a linen blend. See, I like linen. I like the look of linen, but they get, I know they get really wrinkly. So I figure with a black pant, it should be fine. And then I could probably get away with these for work. And they are a little casual, so it should be fine on the more casual days that we go in. These are like a nice wide leg look at these. And I figure these would be good to like go when you go on vacation too. And these were uh, 30. And this belt's removable. I like this. And then the last thing is that top. I really, I usually stick, stay away from white because stains. Or this is by Tahari. And this was $14.99. And what I liked about it was this beading detail it has all around the collar. Isn't this pretty? It's like a pearl and gold. Yep, that was really pretty and that's it that was my haul thank you so much for watching hope you have a wonderful rest of your day rest of your week and i'll see you on the next one